This is probably something you don't think about, but everyone notices. So when you have that rainy smell, basically if you're in a drier climate or just a dry spell of weather, you've got plants and soil along the ground. Well, the soil and those plants, they have oils that they're secreting. You can't usually see it, but when the rain moves in and it starts to fall, it hits the plants in the soil and that oil is kind of brought up into the air. Now in a very wet climate, there is bacteria in the soil and it shoots out spores, mold spores, and that too is just blown up out of the ground by the impact of the raindrops coming through. So basically what you're inhaling is all of this oil and all these compounds that join the air right as rain is starting to work its way in. Then there's another factor that goes into that scent you might notice. In the atmosphere any given day, there are a lot of molecules in the air. Oxygen and nitrogen are two of them in particular that constitute a lot of the atmosphere. Well, when lightning comes through during a thunderstorm, the power and the charge of that lightning, a lightning bolt is generally just a moving transfer of electrons, can kind of move these molecules or molecules around a little bit and split them. And when they reorganize some of those oxygen molecules, they group into O3, which is known as ozone, something that's usually way up in the atmosphere, but it's created by that lightning bolt down at the ground. That has a little more of a chemical smell, kind of like chlorine, but maybe you've noticed this even long in advance of a storm as winds below that ozone out ahead of the actual thunderstorm.